I know when we think about back to school, typically we think about the kids and the schools and the books and the teachers, but sometimes the forgotten warriors are the bus drivers that um, get the kids to school and sometimes have to deal with uh, a lot of loud and unruly kids. Um, of course, not yours, but you know they're out there. But anyway, uh, I think it's a really good idea to give the bus driver a little something to show your appreciation um, for what they do. So we took care of that for you. Uh, take a look here in front of me. I've got uh, some of the things laid out here. We've got a bus shaped card base. We're gonna paper piece some of these pieces together. And of course, we've got a little, um, well, just a, a little slot, I guess, for a gift card. So get your, uh, get your bus driver a little gift card to Starbucks or um, I don't know if you happen to get to know them and know what restaurants they like. You can get them a little gift card for that and it goes a long way. So let's get started here. Uh, this is gonna go together very quickly because again, it's just mostly just piecing things together. So first thing we're gonna do is start with this large shape here. We're gonna glue this onto the black. Um, I went ahead and I did some inking on this. You don't have to. Uh, we did inking on pretty much the entire bundle, so I wanted to kind of keep it consistent. And um, so I just hit it with some ink. On this, I kind of hit it with a, a brownish yellow. And I think a card like this, it's pretty self-explanatory on how it goes together, but I don't want to leave a single stone unturned so that there are no questions. So we're going to glue that right down onto this black piece, just making sure that we're getting it aligned correctly. Okay, so just get that in place. And then we can put this piece on. And that's just going to add a little bit of dimension. I think this is a slightly darker shade of yellow. And again, I hit that, hit that with the same ink, but because it's a darker shade, the ink came out a little bit darker. So let's get that in place. And you just want to line the little headlights up, and this is going to be flush at the bottom as well. And make sure that you're not obstructing that little cutout there the black cut out there. Okay, so just get that in place. There we go. All right, we've got a little piece here for the grill. Let's get that glued into place. Just very little glue, you don't need a lot. There we go. And use the little cutout at the top to match that up with the little cutout there and make sure that that is nice and flush with the bottom. There we go. And then we've got a little black accent piece for the actual grill itself. Just very subtle on the glue. This is a pretty thin little piece. Don't need a lot. Okay, and these little notches that are cut in here, just wanna match those up with the little notches on this piece here just like so. Okay. All right, let's add our little windshield. And there are little cutouts in this black area to help you align the little windshield. You'll see them more towards the center of this little black space here. So do your best to get that aligned and nice and centered, just like that. And let's grab the other one. There we go. And just try to make sure that um, it's nice and symmetrical as far as the placement. That looks good. Okay, we've got uh, these two little circles here and there are some guides on the top left and top right to help you position this. 
This is just to add a little bit of dimension, and then we're gonna we're gonna jazz this up with a little rhinestone in various places to kind of give this thing some headlights. And it'll be really cute. Okay, so get your other little light in there. That looks great. And then of course, what school bus would be complete without the little school bus sign? So let's take the white cutout here and we're gonna glue it to the black portion. And I'm just using a series of little dots here and there because this is a very delicate little piece and you don't wanna cake it with glue. And I'm gonna dab this a little bit so it doesn't smear. And you wanna get this nice and centered on the black piece. Okay, so use that little pointy arrow portion at the bottom there to help you, to help guide you with the alignment. Okay, and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna glue this flush to the top of our little bus here. So let's get our glue there. This is a very quick card. So show your, show your bus driver some love this year with a cute little card and maybe a gift card or a note, whatever you wanna do. If you're not gonna give a gift card, if you just wanna do a little note, then you can skip this part, obviously. Okay, so now let's take a look at the card base. Now you'll notice, <clears throat> You notice that on one side, there are little, um, I don't know, just little corner cuts, and that is to help you place this on the inside. I suppose you could put it on the outside if you want, um, but by design, we have it on the inside. Let's actually glue the bus down first to the front of the card. Okay, so this is pretty thick, so you can go a little bit heavier with the glue. I still would you know, be kind of sparse with it. You don't need a lot. I get emails every once in a while from people saying that uh, it takes a long time for my glue to set and things don't stick and sometimes my paper warps. Well, all of those can be avoided by just being sparse with your glue. All right, so now this, there's gonna be a little border all the way around this. So make sure that you get it nice and centered all the way around, okay? Nudge that up ever so slightly. Make sure you get it nice and centered and then push that down. Look how cute that is. All right. There we go. All right, so now we can open this up and the little squares are visible from the inside and just to help with the gluing on this, I kind of folded these tabs back and forth a few times to loosen up those fibers in there so that it just um, sits nice and flat for us. Okay, let's get our glue on the tabs and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right out to the edge so that we get a nice clean seam. And I'm gonna spread that out. Okay, and just wanna make sure that you get that nice and lined up with the bottom first, that it's nice and level. And then just push those tabs in and press down. And of course, you've got a little bit of room there to write a little note and just say thank you. And then you can put your name or the kids' names or the last name. And I know they will greatly appreciate it. Okay, so there is, there's your card. Pop a little gift card in there. There we go, it'll sit up like that. And of course, we have a envelope. It's two pieces, okay. We've got this little accent piece that's gonna go right in here so that the little ABC shows through. So what I would recommend doing is putting your glue on this section here. You don't wanna put it on the red piece because you don't know where to put the glue so that it doesn't pop through the little cutouts here. So put your glue on the flap itself. Okay, that should be good. And then just get that nice and aligned. Try to get a nice even border all the way around. 
take a look at that. There we go, that's cute. All right, and then what we're gonna do is fold these tabs in and get our glue on these tabs. Just be very um, subtle with the glue on this. It does, you don't need a lot, and I've mentioned this before, but whenever I make envelopes, I tend to overdo it on the glue, and then the envelope always kind of warps a little bit on, well, right where the tabs are. So just very subtle with the glue. Don't go too crazy. All right, and then all you need to do is fold this over, make sure that the tabs are underneath this piece, and just press down. It should kind of uh, just fall into place. There we go, and just push that down, give that a chance to really set. And these are very traditional school colors, traditional bus color as well. So I think they'll really appreciate that. There's your beautiful envelope. You get your gift card, pop it in, and you are ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project, and uh, if you make this card, would love to see it definitely visit us on Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group. You can join the 6,000 plus members that we have there already. Uh, we'd love to see your work. And if you did love hanging out with me and crafting with me, please visit our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.